expense report. You might want to look at this before it goes to the boss. Why do I want to look at it? Well, check out page two under the heading things Tim broke. <laughs> Porta potty, 500 bucks. Like less window. 275. Fuses, circuit breakers, 150 bucks. What's, look, do me a big favor. You know that Benford 6100 paper shredder? Mm -hmm. Why don't you be a good friend and run this through that? Well, I can't. You broke it. 800 bucks. <laughs> well, why don't you help me out here and find something that I haven't broken and hide it in there? And here we have the complete line of Binford pruners, the, the complete line of Binford power pruners. What are you doing? I'm rehearsing. The complete line of Binford's... It's in the script. Look. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> are we demonstrating the extended version? We are not. If you'd read the script, you would know that. How am I supposed to read the script? It's in pieces. Hi, guys. Hi, Irma. So, who's looking forward to tonight's cable awards? Well, since you win everything every year, I'm guessing you. <laughs> and I do expect a statue or two for my special. 21 things you can do with a squash. I can think of one more. <laughs> oh, You're such a little scallion. <laughs> well, I'll see you tonight, boys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Sometimes that woman really steams my rutabagas. Come on, Tim, don't let Irma get to you. I think we have a very good chance this year. Yeah, right. Come on, Tim. Turn that frown upside down. Come on. <laughs> well, we never win. We go to the award show, we look like a bunch of losers sitting there. The crew gets all liquored up and breaks things. <laughs> you just say we bail out early. I'm going to Eddie's Halloween party early. We can't insult the nominating committee. We can do both. We'll, we'll go to the awards and then to Eddie's Halloween party. There's no point in going to the awards show. The judges just don't go for family tool shows. They go for those highbrow urban cappuccino radicchio shows. <laughs> May I remind you that we've done some excellent episodes. Pick any show from Stucco Week. <laughs> That's powerful television. That's huh? right. And who wasn't moved by our salute to toilets? <laughs> yeah, the audience sitting on the edge of their seats. Yeah, we, we deserve to be there. That's right, we do, because we do quality television. That's right. I mean, how many shows teach people how to use stuff like this? and an ear infection. But how am I going to give you candy? Well, when Randy goes out, he can just ask for extra candy for his sick brother. <laughs> I tried that every year. It never works. I'll give you a note. Oh, won't I be cool? <laughs> Hi, yeah. Hi, Dad. Hey. We'll change in plans. I decided to go to the Cable Awards banquet after all, and then we'll go to Eddie's party after that. No, 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 no. More change of plans. We've lost the babysitter, and somebody's got to stay here with Mark. Well, Randy can stay. Can't do it, Dad. I'm going trick-or-treating with a note from my mother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hey. Brad, what are you up to tonight? Nothing. I'm just going to hang out at Jason's house. Hi, I'm Jason. Hi, it's nice to meet you, Jason. Nice to meet you. How you doing? Tool time is my favorite show. Yeah, right. Brad tells me kids your age don't watch it. Well, I'm a year older than Brad, sir. I know that tool time isn't just about tools. It's a metaphor for how we live in the 90s. It, it is. It, it, it is, yes. Yeah, it is. I like this kid. <laughs> well, see, if you two are just hanging out and doing nothing at Jason's, why don't you hang out and do nothing here and help us out because the sitter can't. 
I don't want to ruin my whole night babysitting Mark. Come on, Brad, don't be selfish. Help me out here, will you? Brad, it's no big deal. We can hang out here and watch TV. Hey, Mr. Taylor, are the cable awards being televised? <laughs> Absolutely. Channel 80, 87 are preempting all their programming. Which consists of an infomercial and test pattern. <laughs> you are funny. <laughs> I bet you could have your own show, too. I bet you could run for office. <laughs> This might not be a bad thing to have a tool man in the White House. Maybe fix what's wrong with this country. <laughs> Stick with it, young man. <laughs> Great. Why'd you tell him we'd stay here alone? Brad, let me do the math for you. No parents, plus you and Senator Jason. <laughs> equals party. <laughs> oh, my parents would kill me if they found out I had a party. Brad, I know you're just a measly freshman, but stick with me, and you'll be a measly freshman who threw one great party. And wait till you meet my friends, Paige and Bridget. Hello! <laughs> you're starting to make a lot of sense, Senator. And the winner for Best Achievement in Sound is... No surprise here. Cooking with Irma! earth does she win for sound? What kind of sound is a baked chicken made? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, this award makes 13. <laughs> or as we like to say in my business, a baker's dozen. <laughs> Hey, that woman really just ticks me. Congratulations. Well, Tim, you have to admit, her shows are good. She did that fabulous series on desserts. Did you see the two-parter on the lemon chiffon cake with the raspberries? Yes, yes, weren't you dying? I'm... Excuse me, got a minute? Sorry, what Tim. table are we sitting at? The I Love Irma table is right over there. Sorry, Tim. Look. I've had it. I'm going to get out of here and go to Eddie's party, all right? You can't leave the award show in the middle of it. That's poor sportsmanship. Look at the knitting with Norn table. <laughs> Have they won anything tonight? No, but they're still here. Do you want to be like him? The man's knitting a toaster cover in public. Oh, but we can't all get up and leave at the same time. You're right. They look really bad. Al, you and Eileen, you go to the bathroom, put your costumes on. We'll meet you out in the lobby in like 10 minutes, okay? I don't want to go. Come on. There's still five awards left, and Irma can't win them all. And now the award for best lighting. The winner is... Irma goes to the fruit stand. <laughs> all right, let's go change. Come on, let's go. Brad, you've been working on your hair for an hour and a half. Yeah, but you got to admit... It was worth it. <laughs> what are you doing? Turning on the cable awards. That way, when your parents get home, we'll know what happened. How'd you get so smart? I threw in a lot of parties at other people's houses. <laughs> My ear hurts. I think I have pus. <laughs> You're fine. How would you know? I'm a doctor. <laughs> You're in high school. I see patients during recess. <laughs> That's them. Get ready for the best night of your life. Okay, Mark, here's a buck, okay? Go upstairs. Best night of your life, two bucks. <laughs> Brad, this is Paige and Bridget and some of their friends. Hi, Brad. I love your hair. I haven't even combed it yet. <laughs> I brought some CDs. Oh, cool. Which one? I got the new Mangled Wizards. Cool. The live album, Mangled in Moscow. <laughs> Everything's fine. Have a great time and don't worry about us.
All right. Bye. Your parents aren't coming home early, are they? No, no. My mom was just calling and asking about my little brother's pus. My little brother's pus? I love that band. <laughs> Maybe just have the ceremony in your living room. <laughs> what is it, Mark? No, Mark's fine. I'm just worried about what else may be going on at the house. What else is going on at the house? Well, there was a lot of noise, and Jason was tickling Brad. <laughs> Maybe we should go home. If Jason's tickling Brad, I don't want to go home. <laughs> I just don't like that Jason. He's just too smooth. Oh, he's a good kid. If it weren't for him, Brad wouldn't be glued to the TV right now. Hey, Brad. Hey, Brad. How you doing? And now the award for the best show. The nominees are Knitting with Norm, for his special on Japanese sweaters, Tora Tora, it's Angora. <laughs> Cooking with Irma for her Christmas special, Home for the Hollandaise. <laughs> I can't take any more of this. Let's just go. Come on. And tool time for their salute to engines. I should have had a V8. <laughs> and the winner is Tool Time! <laughs> It's about time someone took us seriously. I mean, we won. What you did? Come on, Furball, let's go get our award. I, I can't go up there looking like this. You a man or a mouse? Come on, buddy. <laughs> Well, I guess you feel pretty silly right about now. Um, uh, it's hard to, hard to say how much thanks we have uh, from everybody at Tool Time, which, of course, is a, uh, a show that is, is, a, is a metaphor for how we live our lives in the 90s. Um, I want to thank uh, uh, everybody from Binford Tools. I want to thank Heidi, of course. My crew, if they can hear me out at the bar. <laughs> My three boys for inspiration, and who am I missing? Um, um, Your wife. My wife. I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, most of all, this man next to me, Al Borland, who, whose um, professionalism and class and dignity has been an inspiration to many of us. Thank you, Tim. I, uh, well, I just want to say that, that this proves that, that dreams really can come true. What? <laughs> When I started out in this business, well, I, I, I lived in a hole in the wall. <laughs> but, well, I want to say, did, did I give up? Did I, did I run away with my tail between my legs? <laughs> no, no, I went on. And, and, and on, and on, and on. Uh, from both of us, thanks very much, and, and good night. Thank, thank you, thank you. Well, congratulations, buddy. Now you find something for your man with Instead of that big picture, Ronnie blew up. I wasn't blown up. Drop by. Great. Candy, let's see what you got here. Hey, that's mine. Give it back. In your dreams. Brad, you want to help me out here? I'm a little busy here. We'll help you out. Hey, <laughs> this is not good. Help. <laughs> hey, Brad, who's the guy with the pumpkin on his head?
his head. The guy who can get me in a lot of trouble if he tells my parents. party over there. Actually, it's not a party. I just had a few friends over. Hmm. Last time I counted, it was 37. <laughs> ah, 39. You saw the whole thing? Actually, Brad, I heard it, and I must admit the melodic appeal of bloated jellyfish escapes me. <laughs> you see, I find them quite derivative of my little brother's pus. <laughs> You're not going to tell my parents, are you, Wilson? Oh, Brad, 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 you put me in such a quandary. On the one hand, is it a neighbor's place to get his friend's son in trouble? And then on the other hand, I'm reminded of the Roman Quintus Horatius Flaccus, who said, for it is your business if your neighbor's wall catches fire. Yeah, but what about the words of a great American, Mr. Rogers? He said, won't you be my neighbor? <laughs> Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. What's going on here? Give me that beer. Barbie's here. Hey, Lancelot, what are you doing here? Puff and I own this castle. <laughs> I told you we should come home and find out what's going on. these kids doing in the house? Mostly torturing me. Where's Brad? Well, gee, I don't want to get Brad in trouble, but check over there by the beer cans and the cigarette butts. she means it. You can tell by the look in her face. All right. Let's go back to the beginning. <laughs> Whose idea was this? Jason's or yours? It could have been Jason's. He's a Tool Time fan. They know the difference between right and wrong. Have you not figured out yet that that kid was conning you the whole time? Tool Time fans don't con. He's not a Tool Time fan. <laughs> you never answered my question. Whose idea was this? But you went along with it. I mean, we give you some responsibility. This is what happens. Hey, I didn't want any responsibility. Okay, well, remember that in two years when you want your driver's license. By then, I might be ready for some responsibility. <laughs> we'll be the judge of that. Did it ever occur to you to just say no? Yes. I didn't think it was that big a deal. Well, it is a big deal. You had a sick brother at home. The house is a mess. There are cigarette burns on the couch. What about all this alcohol? They brought it. There's nothing I can do about that. I don't want your friends bringing alcohol into this house. I wasn't drinking. Everybody was underage. I don't care whether you were drinking or not. You know, if anything happened to these kids, Puff and I'd be responsible. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, okay? I guess I wasn't thinking. Well, you should have. But now you're going to have a month to think about it, because that's how long you're going to be grounded. A month? That's right, a month. You might as well begin right now by cleaning this mess up. <laughs> Mr. Taylor. Hi. Paige and I are just in here looking for the vacuum. Is this where you keep it? <laughs> Get out of here, Jason. I want the truth, and I want it right now. One chance to come clean. Are you or are you not a Tool Time fan? <laughs> I've never seen the show in my life. <laughs> now I know I have a heart because it's broken. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. 
I see you're still clutching that award. I didn't realize I had it with me. You took it in the shower this morning. You know, it took me a long time to get this. This really means a lot to me. I know, honey. I think it's real cute. Just hope that we don't have to sleep with it again tonight. No, I'm going to make it a little bed. <laughs> Where's Brad? Uh, he's out raking in the yard. And I'm going to have him clean the attic. You think he's actually going to learn anything from all this? Well, you did something wrong. Your parents punished you. Did you learn anything? No. Except to try harder not to get caught. Yeah. <laughs> Same with me. This is the point in my life my mother was just waiting for. One day, I hope you have a little boy just like you. My mom said the exact same thing. I can't believe it's actually come true. So what do we do? Uh, I guess we just keep trying to be the best parents we can be, have a little faith, hope that someday he has a kid just like him. <laughs> When I started out in this business, well, I, I, I lived in a hole in the wall. But, well, I want to say, did, did I give up? Did I, did I run away with my tail between my legs? No, no, I went on. And, and, and on, and on, and on. Well, both of us, thanks very much, and, and good night. Thank, thank you. you, thank you.